Doctor, there's no way out for you. You're trapped in hyperspace forever. Ogre, come. Do not harm our prisoner. Ogre, stop. Megara. Hey. They're friends of yours. Did you break the seals? Who have you? I'm afraid I did. Silence, he is ours. He is ours. Afterwards, you may have him. No, 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 please, please. Don't rush on my account. I'm so sorry to disappoint you. The prisoner has been tried and sentenced in his absence. The sentence will now be carried out. What sentence? The sentence is death. You are to be executed immediately. Oh, may I watch? You don't mind, do you, Doctor? No, 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 no. Please be my guest. I wouldn't want you to miss my execution. Prepare for dissolution. Objection! On what grounds? How could there possibly be a sentence when there hasn't been a trial? There has been a trial. There has been a trial. There has? I defended you. I was judge. You were found guilty. But I wasn't there. Immaterial. Your counsel was. He was most eloquent on your behalf. I demand the right to defend myself. Not permitted. Why not? You are a humanoid and therefore quite incapable of appreciating the subtleties of the law. Machine law. But of course, there is no other law. Ah, I see. Uh, just a minute. As your counsel, my advice to you is to submit to execution. So much easier in the end. I wish to appeal against my sentence. There are no grounds. How do you know you haven't heard my case yet? Your Honor, surely you're not going to allow yourselves to be persuaded by this criminal. Who are you? Identify yourself to the court. Vivian Fay. She's the reason why we're here. Are you saying that Vivian Fay broke the seals? No, but what I'm saying then is Then your that evidence is immaterial. And incompetent. Attempts to influence the bench are punishable by death. Article 23 of the Legal Code, subsection 17. <coughs> could, could, could we go back to my appeal, please? In accordance with Article 14 of the Legal Code, subsection 135, this humanoid's execution is stayed for two hours, while we graciously consent to hear his appeal. Afterwards, the execution will take place as ordered. Your honors are too kind. I demand that you execute him now. You no. are out of order. Thank heavens. Are you better, dear? Thank you, Professor Rumford. Can you move? Mobility impaired, but data banks recharged. What are we going to do? Vivian smashed the machine. Reconstruct it. With your help, it shouldn't be difficult. With my help? I'm an archaeologist, not an engineer. You will work under my direction. Oh. You must tell them, Agara, where time is. I just don't tell think, them. I don't think it would do it any good. They're justice machines, remember? I knew a Galactic Federation wants lots of different life forms, so they appointed a justice machine to administer the law. What happened? They found a Federation contempt of court and blew up the entire galaxy. The court has considered the request of the humanoid here in afternoon of the Doctor. In order to speed up the process of law, it will graciously permit him to conduct his own appeal prior to his execution. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. You may call your first witness. I call as my first witness Miss Romana de Varatna Lunda. Me? Mm. But I'm not a witness. The witness will take the stand and be sworn in. The witness will repeat the oath. I swear to tell the truth, repeat. I swear to tell the truth. As far as I am a mere humanoid. As far as I... Look, I object to the wording. Contempt is punishable by death. Uh, Your Honours, I'm sure that my witness wishes to withdraw that last remark, don't you? Do you? As far as I, a mere humanoid... ...am capable of knowing the truth. I'm capable of knowing the truth. What's that? 
It assesses the level of truth. Oh, what happens if the level falls? That would be most regrettable, Miss Romana de Varatnalunda. Mr. Varatnalunda, when we open the hyperspace capsules, what do we find inside? Dead things. Dead things? Well, bodies of dead creatures. Dead travellers, I suppose. And when we found the hyperspace capsule in which their honours were travelling, could you see what was inside? No. What do you think was inside? I didn't know. It could have been anything. What? Even creatures still alive? Yes. No further questions? The witness is excused. How's that, K-9? You have now linked the Alpha circuit to the sign interface. I have. Is that all right? Affirmative. <laughs> oh, it's not so difficult after all. Continue. Your Honours, I call as my second witness, Miss Vivian Fay. But I'm not a witness. That's for that honours to decide. I call Miss Fay. But I'm not a witness. I didn't see anything. I don't know anything. I call Miss Fay. No. Once you have been called, you must appear. It is the law. <laughs> But I know nothing, Your Honor. It is the law. Ogre. I see what you mean about the galaxy. I will take the oath. What are you up to, Doctor? Trying to find out who she really is. Is that important? Well, it might just save my Repeat. life. What do you mean? Why else do you think the Bagara are right here? You mean they're after Miss Faye? Well, who else has been around for 4,000 years? It's got to be Miss Faye. Well, why don't they just arrest her? Because they're justices, not policemen. Oh, I suppose those poor creatures back there were the police. Yes, it's a pity they're all so dead. Well, if this is a police vessel, then surely they must have a description of her. An identification, voice... All the Megara will have is a name on the charge sheet. There must be something incriminating in her cottage. I'll try and get back somehow. Good girl. Can you keep it going here? Yes, but not for long. Doctor, we are waiting. I beg your pardon, Your Honours. I was consulting with my associate. Where's that girl going? She has no right leaving the court without the judge's permission. Oh, come. What does it matter where she goes? We all know no one can escape the Megara. Am I not right, Your Honours? Proceed with the questioning, Doctor. Your execution is long overdue. <laughs> yes, thank you. I request that this witness be attached to the truth assessor. Unnecessary. What? But why? The previous witness was attached to the assessor? Because she was present when the seals to our compartment were broken. This witness was not. I demand that this witness be treated in exactly the same way as the previous one. Demand? A request, then. Request denied. <laughs> Proceed, Doctor. <laughs> if only Vivian Fay hadn't broken that machine. Perhaps I ought to check the wiring. I may have joined something up wrong. I was superintending the work. Just the same. Danger! Danger! Run, Professor, run! I submit most respectfully that your honors are in error. Error? Impossible. We are programmed against the possibility of error. <laughs> But you have ruled that this witness need not be attached to the assessor because she wasn't present when the seals of your capsule were broken. Correct. How do you know that? Because we did not see her when we emerged. That is not proof. Do you now say she was there? No, no, I don't say that. I say that she will never tell us anything approaching the truth unless she is forced to. I don't think that she'll even tell us her real name except from fear of the assessor. Your honors may a mere humanoid offer a suggestion. If you must. If it will facilitate the proceedings, may I say that I have no objection to the assessor? Attach me to it if you wish. Ask me if I broke the seals. I will answer truthfully. Canine, stay on guard. You stayed here. You spent a lot of time in her company. Is there any part of the house where she didn't like you to go? Anywhere or anything she kept locked? Are you ready, Miss Fay? Ready, Your Honours. You will answer my questions truthfully. Should you lie, the assessor will register the degree of untruth and react accordingly. You understand? I understand, Your Honours. The question is, 
Did you or did you not remove the seals from the official compartment in which my colleague and I were traveling? I did not. A reading of 0 0.6 on the scale is registered. What does that mean? An answer within the legal definition of truth. Are you sure? We do not make mistakes. How do you know you've been locked in that capsule for 4,000 years? The finest piece of machinery deteriorates after that time, rust, dust, pieces of fluff. Think how you'd feel if you condemn an innocent humanoid to death just because you've got a bit of fluff stuck in your sprocket wheel or whatever it is you've got in there. Living cells. A microcellular metallic organism. They are bio-machines. Incapable of error. Very well. If you're so perfect, test yourselves, I dare you. Ask her her real name. Irrelevant. Irrational. You broke the seals without proper authorization. The penalty for which offense is execution. I thought you were on my side. I am. You are my client. Great lawyer you've turned out to be. I have your interests at heart. I do not wish you to suffer unduly. I will plead with my colleague for a swift, painless death for you. Your plea is granted. You see, Doctor, justice can be merciful. You may step down, Miss Fay. Thank you, Your Honours. Proceed with the execution immediately. Objection! To what are you objecting this time? I haven't finished presenting my case yet. I have another witness I wish to call. But there are no other witnesses here. You're wrong, Your Honour. There's one other witness I can call. Who? You. hopeless. We don't even know what we're looking for. Perhaps we've seen it without realizing it. Perhaps it's at the hall. Found anything, canine? Negative, Professor. Citric acid. What? Lemon juice. I know what citric acid is. Look at these cookery books. Some of the recipes are marked and some are crossed out. Well, she crossed out things she didn't like. Like recipes containing citric acid. She was allergic to lemon juice. She said that? Yes, she wouldn't touch lemon tea or lager and lime. Anything else? Uh, grapefruit, oranges, avocados, certain kinds of meat. Don't see what you're getting at. Have you ever wondered why the ogre don't attack her? I mean, why should she be safe? Perhaps they don't fancy her blood. Precisely. Which means that Vivian Fay has a different metabolism to Earthborn humans. K9? With a metabolism like that, what kind of planet does she come from? Referring to memory banks, mistress. Think, Professor, think. Any little thing could give us a clue. Is there anything you can remember? We are justice machines. Judge. Jury. Executioner. We cannot be called to give evidence. Why not? Why not? I only want to put my counsel on the stand. There's nothing in the law that says I can't do that, is there? Well, is there? According to our data banks, the law does not actually specify that the accused may not call his own counsel. Very but, well, I call the Magara. But it is most unorthodox indeed. It may be grounds for a charge of contempt of court. I shall, of course, Your Honor, dispense with the oath. You certainly will. The Megara cannot lie. Well, that's handy. Why were you sealed in your capsule? Because we are justice machines traveling on judicial business. Traveling to where? Diplos, a G-class planet in Tau Ceti. What was the nature of your business? To try a humanoid criminal. Ah, a female humanoid criminal? It has to be a G-class planet in Tau Ceti. There are two other possibilities, mistress. Both incapable of supporting any form of humanoid life. Besides, the planet Ogros, the home of the Ogri, is in the same star system. Talking of the Ogri, what happened to our friend? Ogri approaching. How close, K9? Come on, let's get out of here. Of what crime had the female humanoid been accused? Murder, and the removal and misuse of the Great Seal of Diplos. Ah, and did the Great Seal of Diplos by any chance have any special powers? 
It has the powers of transmutation, transformation, and the establishing of hyperspatial and temporal coordinates. Ah, exactly as I thought. Is this relevant? Well, it is to me, Your Honor, yes. What is this female humanoid called? She is known as Cesare of Diplos. And her description? We have none. You have none. How do you expect to identify her, then? We do not. You do not? <laughs> An officer was to identify her when we reached our destination. But all the officers are dead! Yes. Then you have no way of knowing who she is. Oh, this is irrelevant, Your Honours. The accused is merely trying to delay his long overdue execution. Agreed. She is Cesar of Diplos! Prove it. Why else is she here in hyperspace? What's the ship doing here? Hmm? That is not proof. That is supposition. I am Vivian Fay of Rose Cottage, Boscow, and ask anyone in Boscow, and they will identify me. These proceedings must now be terminated. Prepare to eliminate the accused. Right. We can prove she's got a non-Terran metabolism, comes from a Class G planet, and we even know the date of her arrival on Earth. We do? Well, how long has this circle been here? About 2,000 BC, nearly 4,000 years. That's when she arrived? Of course. Ready, chaps. Prepare yourself to die, Doctor. Do you usually execute your own clients? We are allowed to execute only prisoners who have been found guilty. Hmm. Well, it certainly adds a new dimension to the role of defending counsel. Wait a minute, wait a minute! Aren't you supposed to be offering me a last toffee apple or something, a blindfold, a hearty breakfast, a free pardon? No? Too late, Doctor. Goodbye. Ah. Goodbye. 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 <laughs> Mistress, speed, imperative. I cannot hold him. Quickly, beam me through. Hello. Did I short circuit? Why did you try to involve Miss Fay in your execution? Is she all right? We have no legal authority to kill her. Well, I know, I know, but can you reach her memory cells? Why should we do that? Well, her brain might be damaged. We will check. I am reaching her memory cells. This humanoid is not Vivian Fay. She is Cesar of Diplos. Wait. She is guilty of the theft and misuse of the Great Seal of Diplos. Also, of removing silicon-based life forms from the planet Ogros in contravention of Article 7594 of the Galactic Charter and employing them for her own ends. You see, all you had to do was read her memory cells. According to Article 3, subsection 135 of the Legal Code, we, the Megara, are not permitted to read the memory cells of any beings except when they are unable to present their evidence by reason of death, unconsciousness, or natural stupidity. Stop! I have new evidence! Too late. I've just been executed. What? There's an ogre behind you. No, the professor must have let it through. Stop! We are the Magara. I command you to stop. Ogre, what's happening? Ogre, you will be confined to a cell on this vessel until you can be returned to your home planet. No! Cesar of Diplos. You have been tried and found guilty on the following charges. Impersonating a religious personage, to wit, a Celtic goddess, for which the penalty is imprisonment for 1,500 years. Theft of the Great Seal of Diplos, for which the penalty is perpetual imprisonment. The sentence is to run consecutively. Have you anything to say before sentence is passed? What are those things? French Professor of the Megara, Justice Machine. They're about to carry out their sentence. I'd stand back if I were you. Hello. If you let them do this to me, Doctor, you'll never find what you're looking for. Oh, I wouldn't go as far as that. Excuse me, gentlemen. I think this belongs to me. Sentence will be carried out. Perpetual imprisonment. That's your business completed? Not quite, Doctor. 
What do you mean, not quite? There is still the matter of your delayed execution. I did, oh, I wouldn't bother about that if I were you. Bye-bye! Happy journey! Where are they going? Back to Diplos. I took the liberty of fixing the controls on their ship before we pop back here. Should give us a couple of thousand years, Grace. Come on, we can't stand around here. We've got things to do. Come along. Vivian can't help feeling sorry for her, but she hasn't finished making trouble yet. What do you mean? Oh, nine travelers. They'll have to be surveyed all over again. Oh, that'll put the cat amongst the pigeons, believe me. Professor, <laughs> you could write a monograph about it. Ah, yes, and make Edward Morgan look a fool. Will you write oh. everything that happened? Certainly not. I do have my academic reputation to consider. Funny. Never noticed a police box there before. Goodbye, Professor. And thank you for everything. Goodbye. Well... I do have my academic reputation to consider. Doctor, is Earth always like that? Hmm? Sometimes it's even exciting. Oh. Hmm. Thank <laughs> you.